Hello everyone, this is Kakur Bernard. Today I'm taking you through database and so the number we are handle today is this one. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos that will be loading here on YouTube. So you have been approached by the computer club president in your school to design for them a database. Study the information below and answer the questions that follow. So the table is there and it's information. So create a database called Computer Club and create a table called Students with appropriate data types and enter the above data. So when you look at code, this is text, student name, text, class, text, paid at start, this is a Boolean data type, yes or no. Uh, date is dead stock time, membership fee is number. So let's begin by creating a folder called database practice and then inside we shall create a database we go to new and create a database file called computer club and so after you enter twice to open so as it is opening you can see that we are supposed to create a table called students table so you enable content always and then you go to create table design the table has fields like code it has student name it has class it has paid at start it has date so you wait for something you click ok then it has membership fee membership fee so data type under membership fee is number data type under dates is date stock time data type under pay that start is yes or no the rest can remain text click under code you say primary key save as students you click ok then you can click on view and say data sheet view so from here you can start entering your information that is in the table here that is from m001 up to m0015 so you start m001 this one is called mugabe mugabe u full stop continue s dot four dot k pay that start put a tick date is second march 2007 membership fee is 12500 so you can double click this column for the values to fit and even membership fee so save changes so when you are done you can close your table when the whole information is entered and then you can so that the whole information is now entered when the whole information is entered we can now answer the rest of the questions so our table is done so we have instructions like Roman 1 that on Roman 1 create the following queries whose members have names between A to G name this query A to G query so we go to create query design add close put all the fields and then from there go to criteria under name you go to builder so from here we shall say uh, like space open quotes 
open the square brackets in front of letter P then you say B hyphen F because we need between A to G you cross the brackets put a star cross quotes so we need A to G meaning that A and G are exclusive that's why in our formula we are starting with B and ending with F this star means that there are some other characters after that very later click OK run your query to get results and then these are the people between A to G save your query as A G click OK and close your query next on the instruction is uh, to get those members whose code is between 1 to 10 and joined the club between 2004 and 2007 save it as m001 to 10 so here we shall still go to create query design add close put order fields then criteria under code you go to builder and say greater greater m001 and less m010 m010 you click ok then you come to criteria under date go to builder remember this question is telling us code between 1 to 10 and those who join the club between 2004 and 2007 so meaning that here we shall say greater 31st December 2004 and less and less first January 2007 this so this is the range between click ok run your query is one person you save it as m 0 1 hyphen 10 click ok next on the instruction is create a form from 0, 0, 001 to 10 query so this form we are going to create the form from the above query create form wizard so we come around here we choose this take all fields click next next and we give it a name m001 to 10 form you click finish so here is our form so the instruction says in the form above add date and time let's go sorry date and time so take your form in design view click down arrow on view design view and so reaching design view we choose date and time from here include date include time click ok so when you go to view form view this is the date time then a header as the wizards club 2020 so we need a header there the wizards club go back to design view and then in here we can edit this heading and so we write there the wizards club 2020 and after doing that in font size 24 and the foot of your names and reg number so this click on it 
you go to the home tab size 20 and then we put the footer here create a footer space go to the design tab pick a label capital A small a you draw there and then you put there your names Kakuru Bernard 067 as my reg number save changes click view form view so we have date and time header and footer so you can close your form next on the instruction is to create a report with names in ascending order tabular layout name it computer report so we create a report report wizard the report should be from the table students take all fields click next so here they want names in ascending order so here choose names and these names should be in ascending order so click next they want it in tabular layout click next and then you call it computer port and finish so here is our port and so you can see this column has hash hash meaning we need to expand it for values to fit cross the print preview so you can select this column and move it behind a bit reduce the column around there bring this backwards and really reduce it then bring class behind here we are modifying around there bring paid at start or not so that you modify it up to there this one can be in the middle this is in the design view you design according to your layout and make sure that the whole information is clear then membership fee can be brought there so that is our report being edited click view report view so our form is edited like that so next one instruction is that given that the complete membership fee is 20,000 create a query to display their balances in a new field balance save it as balance so in this report you save the report you close create query design add and close put all the fields criteria in I mean create a new field click there go to builder and so they are telling us that if the total membership fee is 20,000 20, minus double click your database computer club double click tables students table membership fee 20,000 minus membership fee click ok click in the criteria below remove this word xpr1 and put balance after putting the word balance run so this is the program for balance meaning that those who have zeros they have completed their membership fee save it as balance click ok next is uh, to calculate to create a query to filter out all those members from s6 name it s6 ict query 
So we create a query for those members who are in class A6. So add close, put all the fields, criteria under class, click there, builder, and then you say like space open quotes. You say star six star so what we are doing here we are bringing those ones who belong to a six star meaning that there is a character behind and a character after and that's why star is there so cross quotes click ok run your query and then these are the ones in a six Save it as S6 ICT click OK and close your query. Next on the instruction is create another query that will return the years spent in the club in a new field named years, name it actual years spent. So our queries are there. So we are creating another query in design view still. Add and cross. Put all the fields. That in this query we add a new field. You click in a new field. Builder. That this query is going to calculate the years spent by students in the club. That is from the time of joining up to now. So the function to use is called date diff you can say date difference but it is abbreviated as that open brackets open quotes y four times meaning year cross quotes comma bring your database double click tables double click students double click date field so reaching there, put a comma, and then you scroll down here, come to common expression, then in the middle, after that, under common expressions, in the middle, click current date. So after putting current date, close brackets that you had opened originally. Then you click OK. So click in the criteria below what we have calculated. Change this into the field is called years. So run your query. And this one is showing the years, the members that have spent in the club. Save it as actual years spent. Click OK. So this is our query. So members, thanks for watching. This marks the end of our today's uh, lesson. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lessons that will be loading on YouTube weekly, daily, monthly. You want to subscribe and watch your YouTube. Thank you for watching. I remain Kakul Benai.